what do you do if a related service was removed without notice and now wanting to reevaluate? Well, as my friend Christina would say, you have been a witness to a crime. Removing something from a codified IEP um, that was we agreed upon the conformity of it is against the law. So you don't get to change it. You certainly don't get to make any adjustments until we have convened an IEP meeting with the five stakeholders, general ed, special education, an, an administrator, the LEA representative, parents, and somebody that can understand, interpret, and answer questions about testing. Or the meeting that I was in today. Um, special ed teacher's not there. Oh, but we have a special ed teacher. Oh, does she know the student? No. She's just, was she just like in the hall? And you're like, oh, we got a meeting. Nice to meet you. Have you ever met the student? No. What? Is it me? Yeah, I mean, it's probably me. Would y'all, would y'all agree it's me? I'm happy that it's me. Have you ever met the student? Tell me somebody, in a, tell me the person in the meeting that might have the most information about special ed person, student at school. They're special. But is she there? No. Um, she's on leave. Do you know when she's coming back? No. So we just table it till whenever. Okay. Of course I was joking. <laughs> we'll get back to you sometime before spring break. All right. All right. Forget about it. That's what I said. I, maybe while she's on leave, we can get her to come on a zoom while she's no longer teaching the student. That's an even worse idea. Worse. Off. I said, why don't you do this? Why don't you hire somebody? then call us back. Oh, we could do that. Because it's just a self-contained class. I feel like the three paras are just in there paddling. Like, I, I'm like, I feel like Ashton Kutcher is just going to jump out from behind my desk and go, ah, we've been filming the whole time. You're going to be on HBO. 